Hi, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps, and I have another Butterfly Basics card to share with you today. So let's get stamping. All right. So I'll pull out my project packet. Make sure you set aside those cute little Bermuda Bay sequin trim. And we're going to start by folding our Island Indigo cardstock in half. And then this card breaks the rules. So we are going to stamp our images here on the colored cardstock instead of um, whisper white or neutral cardstock. So it's sometimes just fun to kind of bend the way things are going. So let's go ahead and ink up our flower here. And the stamp set we're using is, of course, the Butterfly Basics stamp set. Um, the one that comes with your um, Stamps and Mail Club kit is Photopolymer. So don't be panicking if yours looks a little different from mine. Um, I'm going to stamp our little splotchy dash line there across the bottom. And actually that gives us our background. So now we're all set to layer this here onto our layer. Oh wait, don't do that yet. What you want to do first to make it easier on yourself is go ahead and put some adhesive on your doily. The adhesive is going to get hidden by our banner. But I'm going to go ahead and press that down and then before I stick it on, I'm going to flip it over the back so I can see what I'm doing, and I'm just going to clip away the excess doily. So, the doilies come 24 to a package. This is a great way to uh, make it like you're getting 48 cards out of a package. So, you can use little fractions of the doilies instead of full things. All right, smush on the back side. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, mount this here on our cardstock with Stampin' Dimensionals. There they are. This is a nice quick card to pull out. Um, if you are curious about cutting layers, you should know that the layers are almost always a quarter inch. So there's an eighth inch border around because the purple, the um, Blackberry Bliss layer, is cut a quarter inch larger than the Marina Mist layer. So if you're ever in doubt, you can go ahead and do that. I am going to stamp our Sending Wishes Your Way image here on our banner piece and then I'm going to go ahead and cut a banner end with my scissors. There's lots of different ways you can do that. There's a neat trick where you cut in the middle and so forth um, that I show sometimes on other video tutorials. <clears throat> and then I'm going to attach this with dimensionals too. And if you're like me and you decide that you just want it to be over a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and clip off just about a what is that? A little more than an eighth, a little less than a quarter of an inch. All right. So there is a perfectly reasonable card, but I think it needs a little more. Um, one thing being a butterfly. Now, you would use your butterfly punch to stamp this and then punch it out. But for Stamps the Mail Club, your shapes come pre-punched, which means you don't have to own that cute butterfly. You can add it to your wish list for later. So my favorite thing to do to punch on pre or stamp on pre-punched shapes is to go ahead and layer stamp down and then put your cardstock on it and then just use a clear block to go ahead and press your um, image down and there you have your stamped butterfly. So remember to use the edges of your Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to grab just a little snip of that corner there and stick this down and add that to our card. Alright, so there's a perfectly nice card also, but really one more thing. Remember that cute Bermuda Bay trim we were using? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some trim to our um, piece. So the trim comes like on a long roll, um, but what I like to do with it often is to peel those sequins off. And if you get to the part where they don't want to peel off easily, all you have to do is cut away the remaining threads and then you can get them off. So you can um, apply them however you like. My favorite way is to use um, the multi-purpose adhesive, green lid glue, if you watch my videos. And I think the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and put a little dot around your project wherever you're going to want those to go. And um, odd numbers are usually the most pleasing to your eye artistically. So I'm going to, I think I got five dots on there. Did anybody count? As I went along, maybe not. Might have to add two more or something like that. Let's see. Oh, there are five on there. All right. But I, I don't really like how they're spread around there, so I'm going to go ahead and add one more here. So, like I said, we're breaking the rules on this card, right? We went with an even number of sequins. Oh! 
Anyway, um, this is one of the Stamps in the Mail Club kits for this cards for this month. And with your projects during January, you will get the Butterfly Basics stamp set. If you already have Butterfly Basics or you already have the Island Indigo ink pad, it is no big deal. You can order anything else you like instead, and we'll put that with your kit in place. So be sure to check my website for details. Thank you so much for stamping with me by mail, and I look forward to sharing with you more tutorials soon. Have a great day.